Eric Clapton and Friends uh, with Crossroads. CBT lesson for John. John, you wanted a certain version, and you know, I think I heard this, but it's, it was years and years ago. Clapton put a different feel. There's a few different versions out there um, where it's a lot different than how it was with Cream. He's got Phil Collins on drums, which, wow. Um, my favorite version, too. So, um, this, everything's notated um, in the tabs. I've got an a EQ guesstimation of the primary effects. Um, on my Mesa Boogie, I'm running the clean channel, but I've got it pushed so I can add a little bit of grit to it, and that's what you want. It's, it's really more clean than grit. Um, you want to tune standard for this. And let's jump right in. I've, the timestamps are going to serve as your subgroups. Um, throughout this. There's a lot of solo. There's three guitar solos in this. So, um, I know I don't have the, uh, the Fender Strat. Almost seems like a sin when you're doing Clapton to not have the Strat, but you know. Pretty good tone dialed in here. So, section one is going to be 32 seconds long, but that's, you know, it's got repeats in it. It's five times total of the initial riff of, uh, <laughs> That's going to be played five times. So let's break that down first. Fingering, um, I put, um, for the most part, how I, how I would do the fingering on it. Clapton uses the pick and some fingers in here. Um, you're going to have to experiment with it, but I didn't want you to be lost. So on parts where I know you needed the fingering, I, I put it in there so you would have it. It's there for pretty much everything, actually. So, But you can alter that stuff. Everyone's finger size is different and um, length and all that good stuff. So... Um, we're starting with the with the G, which is third fret on the top string, string six, and you want to do a half step bend, and a half step is one fret, right? So, um, if I haven't heard you play yet, so I don't know how comfortable you are with bending a G to a G sharp, because that's what you do when you do a half step bend starting on a G note. Um, most common are whole steps, which is a two fret bend. When you're dealing with blues, these blues guitarist players, you find um, a lot of different bends. Quarter step bends are just real slight. So all that stuff's notated. So start with that, and then go to an open A. And then bar the second fret on the D and G. I would use first finger for that, makes more sense. You can actually have that waiting if you wanted. And then, so you'll hit those, go open D and G, right back to the second fret D and G. You'll see a rest mark in there, it just means there's a slight pause. And then go up down on opens and twos, because it's a quicker thing happening there. So, and the cool thing about the video link you sent me, a lot of the camera footage is on Clapton. And it's up close too, so I could even see how he's strumming certain things. You can, like I said, you can alter that, but it was just nice for me to be able to see that. And then open D and G. Then, you listen close, it's in there quick. The next one goes. It's the same thing, except instead of a half step bend, he goes G, G sharp into that open A. And that's quick, so you're gonna go down, up, down. But the rest is the same um, from that open A. Oops. So that goes five times. Let's do it two times through for now. I'll slow it down a little bit. That's two times through. Um, that takes us up to section two, which comes in at 33 seconds. Um, and this is 33 to a minute 36, so it's another pretty long section. And this part kind of really helped me on the, I think he started singing here like it was the verse, but seeing what he's doing with this hand, because sometimes it's not real loud. I noticed the keyboard tonality is very similar to the guitar tonality as far as note choice. So this totally helped me to see, sometimes you can't always hear the strum because it's so soft. And that was kind of the case here, but I was able to watch it, um, what he's doing with this strum hand. So this is um, A major, but don't use the three fingers. I wouldn't bar that. Two, 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 D, G, and B. And we're going to go. 
You're gonna go open A, and then upstroke on the D, G, and B second fret. Align with the X on the tabs will be your quick rest. It's almost like reggae. It'll go. Stopping it here, and I'm lifting the pressure off here and dropping these. I mute from both hands. As long as you're silencing them and it's not going. You want it. And then, um, it's a really cool part here. This will be a bass walk up E, F, F sharp, alternate picked, down, up, down. Go open, one, two, down, up, down. Leave that there and play a D7 chord with these fingers. So you would need third finger 2G, first finger 1B, and pinky 2 high E, that's our D7. Normally it's played like this, but we're using the F sharp bass note. Very cool. <clears throat> so on that, we're gonna hit the root which is that F sharp. And then think of that uh, upstroke reggae concept three times. And then uh, back to the A, but this time go. Um, you'll see X, Q, B, which will be your quick break. Um, that's all that X stands for. So open A, the A chord with a quick rest, another with a quick rest, the other one rings. And then strum it and then go opens. Okay, the opens will have a quick rest too. And then um, back to this. G, G sharp, so down up on 3, 4 to the down, down on the open A. And if you need to subgroup, subgroup just those three notes, definitely do it. So. So it's back to the A chord. Third one rings, hit it again, go to the opens. And then this time, try to catch all these little things for you. Actually, I do that with all these CBTs. It's the E, F, F sharp walk up into the D7 shape, but he's hammering the E to the F. So go open, hammer, and then we'll pick the second fret on the E. So. so We'll strum the D7 after that. The second time, let it ring. Hit the F sharp. Take your pinky off and um, hit D, G, B, E. Two times, so it'll be. And then back to the open A. To the A chord, 202, D, G, and B. Two open A's, so. Then we got the 3, 4, open A again. So you'll see a lot of repetitious parts, particularly through these rhythms. 202, rest, open, open. So we have. Then this time we're going to go G, G sharp, and an open E because he's changing chords. Um, so third fret, fourth fret, open E into an E7. Then this is 2A, 1G, and we're going to hit the strings 5 through 1. First time rest, second time ring. And then drop the pinky to the third fret B. That's still an E7. There's just two ways of playing it. This has a high D note in it, so um, that would be this again. Open, one, two, and then go to this D7 shape again and go. takes us to page two, which we're approaching some, the first guitar solo um, after we do this. Or actually, no. That's two times of that. So open A, the A chord um, three times. Rest, rest, ring, strum, open, 
three, four, and repeat it. Then guitar solo number one comes in. Like I said, there's three guitar solos. Um, really like some of the stuff he does in this first one. I like all of them. It's Clapton, you know, but he's got some really nice melodic things going on with some chords. Um, so this first one will go. Let's start with that. This comes in at 137 in the song. Middle finger two, or no, middle finger seven G. Slide that a whole step up to nine. Once you get there, um, you need to go. No, oh, I got to make an adjustment. I put a seven instead of an eight. It's the D seven shape. Um, it'll be uh, eight B and nine E. So keep them down. Once you get there, you slide up and then strum three times. Vibrato. So. Is it good? No. Okay. Vibratoing three strings or vibratoing a chord can be tricky. Think real slight. Try to keep the each string consistent on the vibrato. Strum it again, move it back a half step. Vibrato, strum again, move it back another half step. So it sounds like this. And then he'll slide with his third finger. Just go way up here till you run out of room. I put um, 19 for the fret. It's not like he hangs out on it. It's the effect of that slide. If it goes past 19, it's fine, but get it way up here. Um, then the next subgroup and timestamp is at 142, which is, this is a really cool part too. He goes, um, it's... And what that is, is 6-5 GB with your middle and index, but bar the 5th fret to where you are covering the high E string as well. Hit the G and B together, and then go B, E, quick rest. So, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit. Then go 7-6-7 seven, seven, G, B, E. This is the D7 shape now. This is a, like a A major shape. Picking, you can experiment with. Uh, personally, I'd probably go down, down, up, down, down, up. Then take that shape, move it another half step to 878. Eight. Move the whole shape up another half step to 989. Eight, nine. But this time, strum all three and slide it. So it's. One more time. Um, 145 is our next timestamp subgroup, and that, that will be this. It's similar to what you just did. Fourth fret, middle finger on the G, slide it to six, and then bar the fifth fret B and E. But keep that same concept as the, the last subgroup. Five, five on the B and E. As a matter of fact, the rest is exactly the same. Seven, six, seven, um, eight, seven, eight and then the chord with the slide. So you have... Um, then, 9G middle finger, slide to 11, and first finger will handle the 10B. Now leave both those notes ringing as a chord. Rest, pick the 10B, pick the 11G, slide to 9. So. And then keep your middle finger there, drop uh, index to 8B, and we have an open high E. It's a cool sounding chord here. So, I mean, our zephyr lead would be. So you have, we went. Or 15? There's 10. So we're doing an upstroke on that. Um, then go um, 7G, 5B, open E. But on this, we're going to go down, up, down, up, and it's going to be a single, double, single, double. In other words, G, B, E, G, B, E. Right? So you'd have... 
Then, middle finger 5G, keep the index on 5B. I know that probably feels weird. But go G, B, E together, G slide. So. Very cool. Um, things to pay attention to in there is the knuckle angle coming down on those strings that you've got the right angle. Don't let it mute out that high E. Sometimes you have to lower your thumb to do that. But be aware of it and you'll know. <coughs> um, the next part is uh, or subgroup timestamp 153. Um, two fret hand mutes. You'll see that in your tabs marked as two X's over the top three strings. Go. That's all it is. It's in there. Or did I get ahead of myself? No, I didn't. This is very cool part too. You'll go. Um, 13B middle, 14G third finger. You want to do quarter step bends on both those five times. And then slide it off way down here. And I'm loving this part. You're going to want to do, it's like hybrid picking. You're going to use your pick and fingers. You have to. It'll go middle 5D, third finger 5B, pinky 5E. Um, and you're going to go pick on D, middle on B, third finger on high E. Kind of offset these. You know, you don't want them stacked directly above each other. Um, and pinch them together. You should hear three strings, three notes, even volume. Do that twice. Fourth fret D, that's the only change. Do it again and hammer on back to the fifth fret. So. Very cool part. Uh, 158, last line on uh, page two is this second fret D string down up. So, pinky 5G, do a half step bend. Do it again, but two whole steps. And do another half step bend release slide. Slide up to about 21. So. Then we got 5D. It's a cool little run here, too. Um, half step bend. Um, so pick the 5G half step bend and then go 7 5 D 7 A. Quick rest, then jump over to 5 A with the third finger. Let it ring, pull off to third and open. Okay, then we move over to page three, and you'll recognize this. Well, it's a little different. Open A, second fret D twice, and then the A chord, 222 DGB. So rest, rest, no rest. And then twos to opens. Then this part again. Opens. Twos. All right. Um, you think the solo's over there, but it's not. Um, 208, fret 17 on the B string. Third finger or second finger, your call on that. And go. So, 17B, 15E, go 17. B, B, E, B, E, B, E, B, slide. Um, then we're going to go 10th fret on the B for our start point. We're going to slide to 17. And then 15 on the E, but hit them both. Then 15, 14 B, E. So. And then 12 E, 13 B, quarter step bend. So. Cool part. Um, 14, okay, the next little run is this. 14, 12 G, 14 D. 
12 D, pull to 10, and then go 12 A, and then slide that. Okay, 214 um, is our next sub group, and that's going to be back to the chords. 202, and then open two, oh, up, down, down, open two, open, and then half step bend, three E, open A, two, zero, two, open, and our next thing will be 219 to start the second video.